And as we go to break, take a look at this. On the left, Paris, France yesterday, one of the world's most visited cities, turning into a virtual ghost town. The entire country currently oh my God. under lockdown. And then on the right, the beaches of Clearwater, Florida, clearly in the throes of spring break with people who were not listening to the severe warnings that scientists and doctors from the highest levels of government are trying to send them. By the way, people from all across America mixing in one place, which of course is exactly a, a perfect recipe for disaster. It's time for Governor DeSantis uh, to, to close the beaches. To close the beaches. This is, this is absolutely outrageous in, in, in this time of pandemic. We'll be right back. Once again, it seems that the whole world gets it, and yet Republicans don't, a theme that has become just exhausting. Because whether it's climate change or gun violence or income inequality, the only political body on the planet that is consistently at the back of the pack is our very own GOP. And now, once again, in the face of a global pandemic, where people like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis were elected to a position of power with the responsibility of making sure to keep people safe, he's all but abdicated that responsibility in favor of what else? but money, because he decided that it'd be more important to keep spring break going than stem the spread of a pandemic. And look, I get it. For people to have their livelihood taken away is absolutely brutal, but not more brutal than people losing their lives. And unfortunately, at this point, the decision is binary, because as long as beaches and businesses and bars and restaurants are open, people will go to them. And so part of being elected the leader of a state is that you actually have to lead. And it's not gonna be easy, and it's not gonna be popular, and a lot of people are gonna be upset, but that is the job. Consider too that we could have had protections for all of those workers about to be impacted in case something like this were to happen. But instead, we waste every single dollar of potential bailout money on tax cuts for corporations and millionaires and billionaires. And so instead of having built up a rainy day fund, which is what you're supposed to do in a strong economy like we had, Trump and the GOP opted instead to explode the deficit and hand it out to the richest among us. And now, when we actually need it, our hands are tied because the government never bothered to save any money in their desperation to hoard as much of it as they could. But hey, they're the party of fiscal responsibility, so what do I know? And by the way, it's not just Governor DeSantis who's been excruciatingly slow to respond to the crisis. When Vail closed their ski resort, Jeff Kotkamp, the former Lieutenant Governor of Florida, took to Twitter writing, thank you for making this announcement as we are driving to Vail. Come all the way from Florida only to have our family's vacation destroyed. And frankly, Vail should know better than to let a global pandemic get in the way of Jeff's ski vacation. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn tweeted a photo of a glass of Corona beer while at a public bar. The Republican governor of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt, tweeted a photo of himself and his family out at a restaurant bragging how it was packed. Tim Eyman, the Republican candidate for governor in Washington, spent the weekend trying to plan a rally for 251 people, which is exactly one person above the 250 person limit imposed by Democratic Governor Jay Inslee, saying, quote, 251 is the number of patriots I hope will join me at Oak Harbor today. I'm bringing a six pack of Corona. And so while the experts were preaching social distancing, Republicans across the country were pretending that it was somehow patriotic to carry on normally, as if we're just gonna beat coronavirus through some good old American exceptionalism. And conservative media too opted not to report accurate information that might have kept people safe, but rather sought to run cover for Trump instead and followed his lead by downplaying the pandemic. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. Without a vaccine, the flu would be far more deadly. We are facing an incredibly contagious and dangerous virus that is moving across the world from one hotspot to another. We're going to call out anyone and everyone who's using this virus as a political weapon against the president. The standard flu every single year kills tens of thousands of Americans. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15 day period as it, as it relates to this virus where we must slow the spread of coronavirus. And so if we fail to get this outbreak under control, you have Republicans like Ron DeSantis to thank, who allowed the Petri dish of spring break, where thousands of students from across the country would descend upon his state, congregate together, and then immediately branch back out into their respective schools in different cities and states across the country, to continue regardless of the risks. And so if his job is to keep his constituents safe, then he has failed at his job.